Hi. <laughs> um, I just want to say that um, I heard about this particular uh, conference, I don't know, a year ago, is it possible? I, the title of this conference a year ago, and I already signed up a year ago because this was the conference for me. Um, I have been thinking and making work about and writing about ideas of citizenship and belonging um, for a very long time, like obviously lots of people, but I knew this was the one I had to come to um, out of all of Switch. Um, and then, happily, Wayne actually invited me to come. <laughs> I was going to come anyway. Um, <laughs> um, Wayne, Wayne invited me to come and to present on the topic. Um, and even from the very beginning, I wanted to bring this artwork called Europe the Game here. Um, the Europe the Game was made in the early 2000s. I can't tell you exactly when because it was, because um, I can't remember. Um, but it took a number of years to do it, and it was made in specifically, specifically in reference to the concepts that were around at the time called about Fortress Europe, where Europe was imagining itself or building um, uh, borders, imaginary or actual, uh, between Europe and other. Now, since, since the early 2000s, the questions raised in Europe the game have become even more pertinent or resurrected themselves or however you want to put it, but this has not been laid to rest, which is why I very much wanted to come here uh, and bring it today. Um, very I'm going to tell you the rules in a, just a second. Um, and I also, so we're going to play the game um, and for the last five minutes of my session, I want to do some talking as well. But at first we're going to start playing. Um, I just want to explain also another thing that I was trying to do with the, ex with the Europe the Game, the artwork, um, was to move the idea at, at the time, and probably even current, paintings are seen as static or commodities or whatever. I wanted to push the idea that paintings or any object uh, is actually relational and really pushing it by making it a game. So um, that is also an objective in this particular artwork, is to push beyond simply understanding commodi uh, commodities. <laughs> Artworks as commodities or objects that are mute or part of... Anyway, so I just wanted to kind of highlight that fact. Um, okay, so for the game, you will see we have a frame here. And we have 54 pieces. So everybody can play, take a piece, and choose whether your piece can fit within the frame. Now, this is, this is about representation, obviously. These are oil paintings of landscapes of Europe. All of them are European. It's up to you whether you decide that they are actually deserving of being in the frame of Europe, which can take, normally it's a six by six frame, so it can take 36. That proportion didn't work here, so it's seven by five, so 35. This frame can take 35 pieces. There are 54. I'm asking you to choose which 35 go in the frame. So for everybody, really everybody, this is participatory. We just heard about how we're doing it. This is participatory. <laughs> everybody, I would like you to select to, um, one of the uh, tiles, the oil paintings of landscapes, bird's eye view landscapes, um, and pop them in. If, you're, if you are um, not very able-bodied, please direct somebody who looks fitter to do it for you, do your bidding, we'll see how this works. But the whole idea is that everybody here is making a choice, a decision. So there's two boxes here, one box there, this is the frame. I would like to encourage you to stand around and defend your choice. If somebody starts taking out what you think belongs in. You can move others to get access if you want, or you can just throw them In the middle or here? Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, so you can also make decisions about what is central, what is centrally European, what's marginally European. <laughs> 
Please feel free to take out something if you disagree. Also feel free to defend your choices. Say they're representative of a person, they're oil paintings. Is that how you treat things that are precious? I'm just asking. <laughs> We, we don't even have everybody even included in, in the picture as a possibility yet. Okay. Or the frame of your own. I would like to put this one instead of this one. Is this the piece you put? <laughs> yes? Okay. That was easy. <laughs> It looks too green, exactly. Exactly. It looks very northern Europe. The Mediterranean, which is behind. Over there. Yeah? The Mediterranean over there. Okay. Can you, you tell somebody and activate somebody to work for you? Now, somebody wanted only the beautiful things in there. Do we still want to take green out? Is there still too or much? Or we must have some ugly things in Europe as well. There's too much snow. We don't have that much space. She said that they all come from Europe. They are all Europe. It's up to you. This is representations. Who yeah, represents? Like what of these represents Europe? So the reason I avoid this <laughs> is because usually when people claim, uh, well, often when nations are represented, they are represented by their unique landscape rather than their unique cities. So I have chosen to go with what is. Well, yeah, of, of course. More people, I think, they know Amsterdam and marijuana and prostitutes than they know the no, flat landscape of Holland. I still think yeah, it was it was a conscious choice to um, do so-called nature and not so-called culture. These are cultural representations of nature and what is natural. Um, specifically to, took, to talk about representations and representation of Europe or naturalness in Europe. Um, the reason why, in particular, I wanted to bring it to this conference is because it brings up another very important um, concept, um, which is curation. As we know, every single museum has many, many, many more objects from many, many, many more places than they can possibly put on show. This is every museum, every art gallery, every art museum, all the museums work like this. So there is always a choice in what is in the frame and what is left outside of the frame. I'm interested in this, um, in, in um, performing this, because it's clear you're not going to satisfy everybody. There are people who are going to be left outside, views that are going to be left outside. It is always an accommodation, it is always a compromise. Um, it is also always a negotiation. Am I too close? <laughs> yep. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Um, it's, all, it's also always uh, a compromise um, between the various actors in who gets to represent and what is represented. So one of the other reasons why I was very keen to bring this artwork here is because I'm wondering whether museums could be more upfront, just as Europe the Game is upfront, about this being a contested space, that the display, the out there, what's actually on display is contested, it is a compromise, it is the choices of certain people, of, of actual people. It's not a given, and it could change. So that's what I wanted to perform and to suggest perhaps this is another way of doing, performing the museum. <laughs>